government has denied it printed 60 billion naira to augment match allocation to states, as alleged by Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseke. Zinab Ahmed, Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, disclosed this on Wednesday. Ahmed described the allegation by Obaseke as untrue and sad. Obaseke had at the Edo Transi Transition Committee stakeholders engagement last week said that Nigeria was in huge financial trouble. When we got FAAC, that is Federal Account Allocation Committee for March, the federal government printed additional 50 to 60 billion naira to top up for us to share, he had said. This April, we will go to Abuja and share. By the end of this year, our total borrowing is going to be within 15 to uh, 15 to 16 trillion. Imagine a family that is just borrowing without any means to pay back, and nobody is looking at that. Everybody is looking at 2023. Everybody is blaming Mr. President as if he is a magician. Hamek said Nigeria's debt is still within sustainable limits and efforts are on to improve revenue generation capacity. The issue that was raised by the Edo State Governor for me is very, very sad because it is not a fact. What we distribute at FAAC is revenue that is generated and in fact distribution revenue is public information. We publish revenue generated by FIRES, the Custom and the NNPC and we distribute at FAAC. So it is not true to say we printed money to distribute at FAAC. It's not true, he said. <laughs> We are not expecting this devilish regime to admit the truth. Even the name of the government minister of information, Islam Mohammed, we are not surprised. These are Nigeria's reality. The word untrue and the word lie are silently uh, uh, different. Untrue is used when you want to be diplomatic. In other ways, you don't want your opponent to feel insulted to the point when they seek to further buttress what they have said or prove their points. Simple put, she may not even be aware that money was printed. She is not informed very useless leaders. Hmm. And the fraud now called Nigeria now lies upon lies. We are tired of the one Nigeria led to fight this country now, no more Nigeria. Nothing you say or even show video evidence, they will still tell you is a lie. Nothing is working in this country, chai. No smoke without fire. There is element of truth. All can not know and those involved may lie to cover their mess. No one can hide smoke. Hmm. We know who is lying because they have been lying since 2015. It is not possible for the governor to have lied. These are people with first class information. More so, he also went to Abuja to get his state's share of the money, as well as other governors. Why did it take his criminal government so long to debunk these claims? If it was a false assumption, it is no longer secret that Nigeria is near 80% collapse. It is known fact. Stop giving him money, let him print from the state now. Nigeria is more funny than whatever thing you can think. The smoke they are covering will soon be in the open. But this name does not suggest so now. Why don't expect them to admit do you expect them to admit at all do you expect them to agree before this is this is a must read for every nigerian 
hair wahala day this morning cbn print what is it for one week one drama before we recover another one jobs we don't care anymore even if you say nigeria does not exist no problem then then change him for that or what he won't do charge him to court then we understand the denier where on they keep this money then who is deceiving who nigeria is animal hospital did this full and terrorist government make use of their brain at all chai now wow they deny every truth they will always deny it obasake is always drunk or sorry let me take it again obasake is always drunk take him seriously at your old course experience be cool no. so what are you expecting us to to hear again all right someone said by original but i choose my mother's side though i am an Igbo person because i know if you go the other side i was a man nine be my father your brain they leak brother there is nothing like half Hausa of or half Igbo. who says who you already choose your mother's side two tribes that hate each other made me you choose one so you cannot be both hey i prefer to be an Igbo man because all these Hausa people not only god could save them i am just distancing myself from them hello guys what's your view on this kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much i really do appreciate bye for now